I think that the first person to live to 150 years old is Bugging probably <laughs> 60, probably 60 to 65 years old today. That person wow. will live another 90 years. That's because that's the, a big the, claim. Because the person that's 60 years old today has been introduced to all the things that we know about dieting, all uh -huh. the things that we know about exercising. It, it could be Milton, my boxing coach. His, oh my, I put his, money on that. Think right? About it, think well, about it. His, he, he can't even walk from the gym For, to well, the Well, forget about the gout. Yeah, forget a, about could, the gout. And his, factor. Forget about his limp. And, I mean, those and the bad wrists. Talk about his heart, bro. Forget about that too. No, no, no. I'm saying but his heart. But he's been boxing like, he's and being like no, knocked not. in the no. head like his whole no, life. No, 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 no. He's bo boxing coach. That's just it. a coach. Yep. He just tells other people what to do. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So it could be him. But that's exciting. Yeah. 150 is such an old age. I mean, think about. Think, <laughs> imagine, think about imagine milk coming here, in. Here's yeah, the only yeah, thing yeah. you can think about. The average <laughs> age has increased by 30 years over the past 100 years. So in the next 100 years, right, 21, 20, What's it going to be? Thirty more years, no, or is it going to no, be even more exponential? But call it, yeah. but call it sixty, and that's the but average. That's the average, right? So if it's seventy-nine today, it'll be one hundred and nine if we're linear. You're you're trying to apply the the theory of exponential increase, which is what we look at technology and computing and all of that, to something that is so complex, which is the the life the the live. The lifespan of the makeup human. of a human. You're talking about something that is, it does, I Look, don't think those theories there, apply. There are people that think that people live to be 500 in the next, like, that's, they just won't die. That's we're crazy. All, that we're almost at the point of singularity. Like these people out here, like Peter Diamandis and Ray Kurzweil. That what is it? What is the, what is the thing? Is it that we can, that we can reverse hacking? aging, that we can reverse aging. <laughs> But that's not going to be done through diet or or hyperbaric. Hyper 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 <laughs> no, I mean that stuff is like epigenetics, right? Like CRISPR, these things that like you can edit your genes and stuff like Speaking that. Speaking of CRISPR, so so CRISPR Cas9 uh, DNA uh, genetic modification, yeah, epigenetics, right? epigenetics. Yeah, ep ep yeah. Talk about it a little bit. How are what is it being used to do? How is it reversing disease, so on and so forth? And how close are we to actually implementing this? Um, so a lot of the stuff is still in trial, like some stuff for CRISPR, uh, there's like gene editing and gene cloning. A lot of that stuff's actually not legal in the United States, but they're testing this stuff on animals. Um, you know, that's kind of like phase two or level two of this stuff. I, there was a, there was a phase about a few years ago that was in the TV show, Silicon Valley. There was a big trend where yeah. people were injecting themselves with young blood. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, um, he's a musician. Pied Piper. Yeah, Pied Piper, Pied Piper. <laughs> uh, but things like that, things like stem cell, I mean, that's like stem cell is very real, right? Well, that's happening already. Yeah, that's happening. But, but CRISPR is like the next step. I mean, I've watched CRISPR's enough- CRISPR is the next step. I've watched yeah. enough documentaries on this and, stuff and, and I've watched them, to, like this is the next, this is going alongside cloning. Like yeah. I'm seeing them say, okay, all right, we have this mouse who has a genetic disorder. Yeah. We're now going to recreate that mouse, the exact same mouse. It is 100% the exact same thing, but without said genetic disorder, and, and they're doing that and, right and even, fucking now. Even dude. one, so there's, so to Chris, tea, CRISPR huh? is like level oh. three, right? Stem cells are level two and that's happening right now. Level one is like hyperbaric oxygen chamber, mm. hot, cold therapy. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that stuff like increases circulation, helps improve immune system, all these things. Analytics is the other really big bucket, right? So like track your, like know what your levels are, what your blood levels are, cholesterol, like know all this stuff, your sleep. Analytics are huge so that you know what's personalized for you, like what you need, right? And then even beyond CRISPR, which is probably like level four, five, 10, is what Elon Musk is doing with Neuralink. I mean, he's literally implanting chips in people's brains.